Yo, Young Squad, how are we doing? How are we doing today? For the people that don't know me, my name is Young D. Nice to meet you. If you want banger videos like this one, and you want more banger videos like this one, please subscribe and turn on your post notifications for me. And for the people that do know me, I like to say I appreciate all the love and support. And shout out to all these members you see on screen. All these members are paid supported members of the channel. If you want to be a paid supported member, like these people on the screen, uh, right there where it says subscribe, go hit that join button and you can pick any of the tiers that you want. If you want to be shouted out, YNG member, if you just want to be a supporter, you can be an honorary member. Or if you want to go above and beyond, you can be a YNG VIP. Also, speaking of VIP, shout out to Mr. Daniel Perez and Cerebral for being my VIPs of the channel. I appreciate all of y'all love and support and hopefully in the future, Y'all keep us supporting me during my future endeavors. And without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. You can see from the title, I said, one man has changed rocket racing forever. And who is this man that I speak of? He goes by Drazen on YouTube. I'll have his channel linked down below. Now, Drazen, looking at his channel, he got some world records under his belt, some slight, some slight. But the one thing that separated him from a normal rocket racing player is he created two mechanics that the top tier pros use today. Even me. He created the new speed run strat that I will show you in today's video and the B hop mechanic. And I will show y'all that in this video as well now because of drazen he made air roll useful in rocket racing so in order to learn the b hop and the speed run strat mechanic you got to use air roll so let's take a quick look at binds and we're gonna see what my binds is like so as you can see everything kind of seems normal until you see my break. Uh, I have break as R3. I didn't want it to completely unbind break. You know, just in case if there might be a situation where break is useful. Um, so I just put it on my R3. Uh, my jump and thrusters, they still the same. Same button, X. Turbos on my right D-pad because I have a pro controller. So it's about it's my left paddle. Uh, make sure your your drift button and air dodge button is two separate buttons. So as you can see, I have my drift as R1, air dodge L1. And now we have my air roll mechanic. I still have it as L2 on my uh, PlayStation controller, which is my left trigger on Xbox. Now, obviously, brake used to be left trigger. But now, you know, with the new air roll mechanic, I uh, separated the brake. And then now we have air roll. Um, the reason why is so when I do air roll, I'm not also braking at the same time and slowing down my speed. You know, in rocket racing, you want to make sure you keep your speed up as much as possible. So separating brake and air roll was a must for me. Um, and then, I mean, everything else is really your preference. Uh, but these are my binds. So... Uh, I'll give y'all a moment of time to uh, figure out what you want to do with your binds, you know, maybe rearrange break, maybe unbind break if, if you really want to. But yes, this is my bind. So now let's get into uh, the tutorial of how to do the speed run strat and the B hop. First will be the speed run strat. Um, and we're going to be using Ren Pika's map. So. If I go under and I do view details, this is Ren Pika's map, the rocket racing training path. Um, now, obviously, I know Ren Pika. I, you know, chatted with him. He's been tuning in some of my streams. So the fact that I saw he made a map, um, I'm glad that he advertised it. So for anybody that's trying to get better in rocket racing, this is a good map to start off with. Uh, here's the map code. Um, also, I have his channel linked down below as well. So, you know, uh, y'all can go follow him, subscribe to him, 
all that good jazz and also like i said drazen's youtube channel will be in link down below so you can follow him subscribe to him support him so on and so forth but without further ado let me teach y'all the new speed run strat all right so this is ran pika's map you can see you got you got your air roll you got jumping free dive a uh, free drive drifting and mag flipping Honestly, I'll say these are the core mechanic of rocket racing. You learn this already, you can be, this should put you to like, maybe like a diamond three, diamond, diamond two to a, to an elite player just by mastering these, um, these mechanics over here. But now what y'all been waiting for? The speed run start. So I'm about to restart my run. And I'm about to just break it down for you. And obviously, I, I'm not able to put the my input overlay on screen because I am doing this all straight from my PS5 console, not on my PC. But I'll make sure I break it down for y'all to understand. So, first thing you want to do is at the start, as soon as you hit green, you just want to jump up, right? Jump up and then hold where you use your thrusters. Exactly what we're going to be doing. Boom. And then while you're jumping, you want to have your, you want to push forward on your analog or your keyboard, whatever uh, platform you're on, and you're going to do jump. As you can see, how my car is tilting forward, just a little bit, not too light. All right, while uh, I'm jumping and using my thrusters while pushing forward, either on my analog or on my keyboard, what you're going to be doing? And you're going to be holding your arrow button until you see your car go straight up and down. Uh, vertical. So I'm about to show you right now. Just like that. You see how my car just goes straight up and down? And then just let go. Right? So after that point, your car is going to like do a weird flip on itself. And you see? Now... You see it? my car straight up and down and now for the last part of the mechanic all you need to do is do this and then flip down or air dodge down whatever your air dodging button is now boom and now that you know what to do now it's time to put in the last part you gonna be holding your throttle button. Y'all thought I forgot about throttle? No, sir. I just didn't say nothing. And then you're gonna look just like this. And then boom, I'm all to the races immediately. You see how my car does that flip? And then boom, off to the races. And now let's I'm, I'm about to hop back into the lobby and I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like in you know an actual speed running track all right so as you can see I'm doing a speed run and day drifting uh, FYI this uh, speed run track or start can be used in any map any speed run map uh, but the reason why this is better to start in your speed run races is because the initial speed you get while leaving um, the initial speed you get uh, while starting a speed run map because we all know and to start speed run you don't get the same start boost as you do in an actual race uh, you literally get completely nothing you're you go to zero to a hundred instead of you know able to time your boost and go to Instead of having start off with zero, you start off with um, 500. I don't know what the start, basic default start boost you get from racing. But I'm going to have a run where I'm using a speed run start. And then after this, my next run is going to be me not using my speed run start. Boom. Now I hit that. Now I'm not about to use a start. I'm just going to be driving 
And y'all see how I'm already... Look at that. 0.237 seconds. Now, we're going to just... Look at that. 0.270. I already passed my time. Boom. And we're gonna do another run with me not using the start. All right, but now I understand the gist of it. That's why, you know, that's why every time you practice speed running, um, no matter what you're doing, always do that start. All right, so. Now, on to the mechanic that is really changing the game. This man, Drazen, I don't know if he played Rocket League. Uh, I want to say he do. I don't see no Rocket League on his YouTube channel. But for the people that do play Rocket League, y'all would know this mechanic as a speed flip. But Rocket Racing and Rocket League is a little bit different. Rocket Lee is a speed flip, and Rocket Racing is called a B hop. So now we're gonna hop right back into Ren Pika's map, and I'm gonna show y'all the B hop mechanic. So we're back in Ren Pika's map, and we're gonna be going straight. We're gonna be going to the free drive section. So I'm gonna do the speed run start. And now we're in the free drive section. So I'm gonna show y'all what the bunny hop uh, mechanic is. Uh, for the people that play Rocket League, y'all would know it as speed flip, but in Rocket Racing, we call it the bunny hop. But basically, this is it. And y'all see, basically the same thing as a speed flip. Now, you know what's funny? I can do this in Rocket Racing, but I know for sure I won't be able to do it in, um, in Rocket League. Now, obviously, I'm only using my back wheel. You can also use your front wheel. Uh, honestly, I advise you on straight lanes to use your front wheel. Apparently, it's from what I've seen from other people doing it. It's better because uh, you don't have to focus on so much uh, angle of your car. You know, it's kind of it's kind of already there. Now, as you can see, I am struggling with this mechanic. Uh, like I said, I learned it. But I didn't master it, so boom, boom. But also, I am using my front wheel. I uh, I need to practice my front wheel more. But when I do my back wheel, I can like easily do it. But anyways, now on to the tutorial part. So basically, all we're going to be doing, I just want y'all to be driving, drift, and then just flip. Let's start with that. You know, something basic. See, y'all should be able to, and just, just do that while you get the hang of it, you know. Obviously, you don't want to exit out of the portal, because that will leave you the map. You're going to be jumping and flipping. And now, we're going to get them, we're going to get a little bit more advanced, right? So, while you driving, jumping, and flipping, what you're going to do, you're going to be drifting, jump, flip, and then just hover over the air. You're just gonna do like that, right? Boom. And you know, you have a boost, you know, if you wanna use your boost. You know. So you can get the get the use of that. Alright, so now while we're doing that, you're gonna be jumping, flipping, and then you can be holding your air roll. See? As you can see how when I did that, my air roll took over. That's okay. But we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to control it. Now, obviously, when when me when I was learning this mechanic, um, I didn't have too much of a Rocket League background experience, so this mechanic was kind of hard for me to learn. But once I got the hang of it, I was better. So now, while you're doing this, you're gonna hold your air roll and you're gonna kind of tilt it at an angle. I'm sorry, I don't have a controller input. Or overlay so but basically 
I'm gonna have an arrow of showing y'all where to tilt your analog or I would say your keyboard, but I don't know how it works on keyboard, right? But you want to tilt it where your air roll is basically where you basically air rolling to like your back wheel, right? So flip. You see how I'm air rolling where it's like only on my back wheel. Right? Look, I'm even about to boost. And you see how now it's a little bit faster? That's fine. I'm just tilting it at an angle. Alright. I'll see. Practice that. Practice that. And now you're gonna go. Now you're gonna do the same thing, right? Except now you wanna hover close to the ground. Not too much where your full car just lands on the ground. You just want to hover it enough where your back wheel touches the ground. And then if you do it right, you'll see when you use your back wheel, your thrust meter goes away. See? Thrust meter goes away. You're basically tricking the game. See? Thrust meter goes away. You're basically tricking the game that your full car is like landing. Now, boom. Now, once you practice that step, you see how maybe you're going to do a boost with it. You see how I was a little bit too high, still too high. And then, there we go. You got to find the perfect mark. Do it again. There we go. Alright. So, once you kind of practice that angle, now we're gonna basically that was kind of like the hard part. Now I'm about to do the easy part. So while you're doing this, as soon you as soon your back wheel touches the ground, you just want to jump and flip. As you can see, how I did that. Angle, jump and flip. I'm even I'm about to use some moves. Angle, jump and flip. Angle, angle, jump and flip, and. That is the bee hopping mechanic. Now, there's there's variations of this. It used to be the double flip mechanic. Where you do that. The double flip mechanic. And boom, boom, boom. Right? But then with Drazen, he end up saying with the air roll, it's actually a lot faster. Right? Boom. And look, basically the same, you're going to do the same thing on the other side, you know. Obviously, you're going to do, instead of angling your car, or angling your analog, or your keyboard, however, you're basically going to go the opposite way. So, if you were practicing on your left hand side, you will have your analog, or your mouse and keyboard pushed down on the left hand side, you know, at the angle where and lands on your back wheel and now you're gonna be doing the same thing on the other side so if you went left you can be doing right so if you went right you can be doing left and I already know timer is about to run out that's fine while I'm out here struggling trying to do this mechanic a bit And then, obviously, if you want to do your front wheel, you know, you want to just tilt your car or tilt your analog or your mouse and keyboard where it's angling to your front wheel. So. Now, obviously, you don't have to use boost. You know, I advise you to practice it without using your boost. And then, once you get the hang of it, then do your boost. I don't know why it killed me, but see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 
Um, that's it for today's video. Hopefully, you know, y'all understand the speed run start. And hopefully I made uh, bunny hopping mechanic more easier. Comment down below if you want a further um, description of the bunny hop mechanic. I feel like the speed run start was kind of easy pick up, but the B hop mechanic uh, part was maybe hard to catch up on. Um, I can do the B hop mechanic in a separate video if you want me to, or if y'all was able to understand the B hop mechanic, then um, that's good. I guess I don't have to make another video for it. But make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, you do not want to miss another upload of my channel. Uh, anything that's popping within the community, guess what? I'm going to post it. If y'all need a route for any of the new maps that comes out in Future Rocket Racing, guess what? I got you. I already did that, actually. Um, I'll have that video down below, link in the description, of all the routes that I posted for this season's new maps. And guess what? When they drop new maps, I will have another route for them. So, yeah. Anyways, I love y'all young squad. And young B is out of here. Also, my Discord will be in link in the description if you want to chat it up with the community or chat with me. All right. Young squad, young D is out of here. Deuces.